Hi everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building a two motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and two Teslas. And this is episode 44. Sponsored by our wonderful Patreon patrons team. Thank you very much guys for your help. If you would like to join us, there is the link down below. So we have here the steering axle. We are going to connect to it this tube over here, but we are going to modify it. And the last thing we are going to use is the transfer case. And, uh, in, and we are going to connect one Tesla mot motor to this transfer case. What we are going to do with the tube? We need to make it as short as possible. When you look at that, in front, here inside, here is a open differential. And over here, here is the steering mounting point. And over here, this is called cylinder head. Pretty much this disengaged and engage the, the front axle or, or originally. The problem is with this differential is because it's open differential. We don't want open differential on uh, off-road vehicle. So we are going to take the lockable differential. This is the tube. Uh, which was originally located between uh, two rear axles and as you can see over here this differential is lockable and the and it's controlled over here so we need to switch those two differentials from here to there and because they are different sizes, we are going to cut this tube over here, cut it over here, make it shorter. Then we need to cut it here and we are going to use it. Then we will need to cut it, cut this here, get rid of it, weld it over here from that different tube then cut it over here and then cut it over here get rid of this part and weld this together it looks pretty complicated but this is the this is the easiest way to do it because those differentials they have different uh, different lengths and we need to make it sure that it will fit into the axle over here and also it will fit it will fit perfectly into the t case but before we do that we will need to make some platform where we can place all these components uh, the axle the tube and the t case and this platform needs to be perfectly leveled because we are going to put the air air system air suspension system the shocks and I need to make sure that everything is perfectly done. So I cut four pieces of plywood for sheets. It's very old, marine one. It has been here forever. It looks horrible, but it will do the job. It has the strength, thickness. And now we are going to make a frame. We are going to use these old beams over here for it. 
will be two and a half meters long and about 70 centimeters wide. Guys, this is so difficult to work, to, to... <laughs> Guys, this is so difficult, working, thinking what to say, plus film it. This is impossible, that it's so difficult. Okay guys, I cut the material for the frame, for the platform, for the Statra chassis. Two hours later. The wood is a little bit twisted, so I had to play with that a little bit, but we have it pretty, pretty square, I think. Okay guys, so we have the frame done and now we are going to put the, the, these casters. They'll be probably here this way because the most of the, most of the weight will be here where there will be the axle this way across and over here there will be the tube and over here there will be the, the transfer case. <clears throat> the T case is about one half, uh, 150 kilos, the tube will be less than 100 and on this side will be probably about maybe one ton, maybe thousand kilos. So we have to make, uh, make sure that this side will have the, the best support with the casters.
Awesome, we got it. Okay guys, so we've got two of them uh, done, the frames, and only what uh, is left to put the plywood on the top of it. Here's the one. And here's the second one. I think I have done the miracle with, with the material I have been using for this. I'm putting a lot of screws into it to add a maximum structural strength because we will have on this on inch platform about one and a half ton. Wow, check this out. One is done. Take a look at that. I'm so happy. It took a little bit longer than I thought, but I'm finally done. Now I'm going to finish uh, the second one of the camera because it's exactly the same. Six and a half hours later. Unfortunately, I realized too late that one of these beams are, is uh, twisted. You can take a look over here. I didn't notice that at the beginning. Now I can uh, change the beam, but that's too much work. I'm just going to plan it. And I am finally done. Check this out. I have two platforms completely done over here. This is the light, light side and this is the heavy side. And uh, at this point, the axle will rest, uh, rest here the way it is. It just sits here. And here will be the tube. And at the end will be the T-case. And by finishing this, I am done for today. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to support this channel, you can become a patron. There is the link down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. We have epic stuff coming.